Hello, everybody. Hope you guys can hear me. Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. It's a lovely, rainy, wet Wednesday morning. What time is it? Somebody tell me what time it is. It's a, it's a little after 11 o'clock, 11 a.m. I know I did say, I know, I did say, guys, please don't bust my chops on this. I know I did say that I was going to be here at 11 o'clock, but goodness, life happens, guys. And I know many of you were saying, well, those are excuses. You, you need to get your act together. Let me tell you what I like doing. I like to make sure that this thing here, I like to make sure that that is nice, neat, and straight. Tell me I've got, what do they call that condition? Uh, you know how, how it is when, when people want things a certain way? What is that? Not OCD. Is it OCD? What is that? Something deficit disorder. I forget what it is. Tell me what it is in the comments. I need to make sure, before I begin, I need to make sure that you and I are on the same page. That is to say, I need to make sure that I'm loud and clear, first of all. Second of all, I need to make sure that this broadcast is clear because if it's not clear it's it sort of messes the whole deal up okay so that's 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 the deal so what i need you guys to to tell me is you need to say to me mr Moore, are you allowed and clear and then we can get the show on the proverbial road harriet larson is that larson larson's larson's is that Larson's? Loud and clear. I, I knew a Larson in, in school years ago. Thank you so much. Teddy. Hello, Teddy. I see Nancy there. Hello to you. Hi, guys. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your very busy schedule to spend a few moments with me here on SML TV. Guys, very quickly, um, and of course, again, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, uh, I, as is my custom, I, I love to welcome people from all over the world, you know, whether it's from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, New Orleans, Bossier City, Bogota, Colombia, Cape Town, South Africa. There's a place there called Ghost Town. Believe it or not. If you're watching me from Ghost Town, welcome. Guys, let's get into it. My question is this. Can a child molester like Andrew Ejimadu, who many of you call seer something, I, f I refer to him as seer nothing because really that's what he is. Can he split a political party in half? Now, guys, you must understand that here it is. I'll throw it up here. There are people that can sow seeds of division. A and I want to, to make a distinction between someone that is able to sow seeds of divisions, division in, in families, in organizations, in parties, in this case, in a political party. They're able to do that because of gossip. You know people like that? Do you have people in your family? Do you have family members that do that? Tell me in the comments below, do you have a family member that is very good at, 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 at causing seeds and planting, rather, very good at planting seeds of division in families? There are people like that, and they are Stella at it. You know the word Stella? It means they're very good at it. You know, you put these people in a family environment, in a few minutes, all of you are going to be bickering amongst yourselves because of this one individual that is Stella, that is brilliant at sowing seeds of division because of gossip in the family. He pits people against each other or, or she pits people against each other. You know the word pit, not put, pit. There are people that pit you against someone else, meaning they'll gossip to you about certain things. 
and then they'll go to this other person, and then before you know it, you're fighting. There are people that are able to do that. But here's my point. But they can't divide you by using spiritual powers, which is what Andrew claims to have. For those of you that do not know, Andrew Ejimadu is a false prophet that lives in Nigeria, a man that many Zambians look to and they have faith in. I mean, the, the only Zambians that, that look to Andrew are Zambians that are spiritually dead. Zambians that are spiritually dwanzi. Zambians that have no clue. Zambians that are not rooted and founded in the word of God. Zambians that do not have a spiritual compass. Zambians that are easily manipulated, easily hoodwinked, easily bamboozled. Those are the Zambians that pay homage to Andrew Ejimadu, this man that is a con man. He's a spiritual mystic. He claims to have power that he does not possess. He claims that he can divide this nation, he can divide political parties at will. Guys, let's be clear, okay? Let's, let's just be clear. I want you guys to know something, and hear me when I say this. You know, the other day, uh, Chilufiata Ali, because he's so blinded, he wouldn't think twice about using a foreign entity to cause division to, to cause domestic division. Ooh, that's a good one. Let me say that again. Because Chilufia Tayali is so misled, is so blinded by this personal hatred he has for Hagainde Ichilema, Chilufia Tayali wouldn't think twice about bringing a foreign entity to cause domestic division. That's deep. Some of you didn't catch that. Some of you let that slide right by. But oh, if you take time to look at it, you know what I'm talking about. If you are so blinded, if you are so jaded with, with, with hate and, 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 and rancor for someone so much so that you will take a foreign entity and cause domestic division because of your self-aggrandizement, then I question your patriotism. Ooh, boy, that's good. Man, that's a good one. That's a home run, boy. Boy, I tell you what. That's good. To, that, listen, that's good enough to make a tadpole slap a whale. That, that's exactly what Chilufiate Ali does. He, he props Andrew and says, oh, look at what Andrew's doing. Andrew's power to split the party is at work. Nothing is at work. All Andrew Ejimadu, a.k.a. AKA Sir Nothing, all he ever does is gossip, spread innuendo, pit you against somebody else. I mean, here it is. He The other day he posted something about how, you know, Andrew called uh, uh, Harry Kalaba, told Harry Kalaba, you need to, you need to support H.H., Harry Kalaba, according to Andrew, according to him. Because, guys, the problem with you, many of you, it doesn't matter what Andrew says. Many of you believe him. Well, honey, let me tell you, just because Andrew says something, it doesn't mean it's true. Okay? That's the hustle. Okay? That's the con game. That's the con hook. If you can get past that, Understand that not everything he says happens. But if you are in a place, if you are in that vulnerable place where you believe everything he tells you, Andrew Ejimadu can tell some of you that are so blind, he can tell you the sky is green. You believe it. Why? Because you are spiritually dense. You are spiritually dense. You are spiritually dull. You are Dwanzi. That's why you, you can believe that. So according to Andrew, according to him, 
he called Harry Kalava and told Harry Kalava, you support HH. According to Andrew, Harry Kalava refused. According to Andrew, uh, uh, Harry Kalava's spiritual father called Andrew, uh, called Harry Kalava to, to, to convince Kalava, support HH. All of this is division. You allow a foreign entity to sow seeds of domestic division. Zambians, wake up. Ukeni, could you get up? Get up from that bed of slumber. Get up from that bed of lethargy and do something for a change. Don't allow people to manipulate you so easily. Do you know why Andrew and many people like him? Do you know why those people like Zambia? Have you ever thought of that? Have you ever wondered, but why do these papas and these prophets, why do they like Zambia? It's because Zambians are malleable. Many years ago, some of you are not old enough to remember this, but I am. I'm 53 years old. Our second president, President Chiruva, once famously said that Zambians are docile. That's the reason people like Andrew love Zambia, is because Zambians are malleable. So it's very easy to manipulate. Okay? So now, guys, here's the thing, and I want you to get this. And this is the truth. Andrew Ejimadu doesn't have the power to make an ant deviate from it. Let me say it again. Andrew doesn't have the power to make an ant deviate from its path, much less make a political party be split in half. Ooh, that's good there, boy. Let me say that again. Andrew Ejimadu, this false prophet from Nigeria, he doesn't have the power to make an ant deviate from, deviate from its path, much less make a political party be split in half. What he can do is that he can sow seeds of division using gossip. If he talks to this leader, <laughs> As long as you're giving him an ear, he pours that oil of deception, that poison oil into your ear. He will divide you, not through spirituality, but he will divide you because of gossip. Are you hearing that? So wake up, wake up. All right, so next topic. And, and gullible, too. <laughs> it's true. All right. Uh, guys, in the media lately, Mazabuga has been in the media lately. Okay, for those of you that do not know, Mazabuga is, is a town in, in Mazabuga district, which is in the southern province of Zambia. And it's, it's a Tonga-speaking uh, uh, town. You know, our, bro our Tonga brothers and sisters are from there. And the word mazabuga comes from this word here, apparently, kuzabuka. Tell me if I've said that correctly, <laughs> which means to cross a river. Well, there's a man from mazabuga that's been in the news last several hours. He was, bemo he was bemoaning the fact that there were UPND cutters that were beating someone that he considered to be a loyal member of the UPND. So basically, in an act of protest, he showed up in a UPND Chitenge wearing green underwear. Okay, he called it a pant, but, but there's no such thing. Men wear underwear, uh, underwear, boxes, speedos, but we do not wear pants. Uh, panties are worn by women. In America, pants are regarded as trousers, slacks, dress slacks. Not to be confused with jeans, canvas, or, you know, those are different. A 
A pair of jeans is different from a pair of slacks, okay? Slacks have lighter material. But anyway, this man from Mazabuga said that, no, I wore a pant. No, he, he wore a pair of green underwear it, as, a, as a demonstration, as a protest against this violence that was meted out against someone that he considered a loyal member of the UPND, which, which is fine. I mean, you know, I think that him speaking to the fact that there are people out there that are, that are violent against certain members of the party, basically he was protesting against Qadarism, which, you know, I support that. I support anyone that, that stands up against Qadarism. Of course, his methods may be radical, but, you know, as they say in English, desperate times call for desperate measures. You know, uh, he did what he had to do to, to, to sort of cast a light on this very controversial issue. And he felt in his own wisdom, he felt that the only way I can, I can gain attention on this topic is to strip and to be in my underwear. And... And I guess he achieved his goal because everybody's talking about it. And Mazabuga is now again on the map. So, so that's what needs to happen is that people need to pay attention to the fact that Qadarism is, is there and it's, it's something that we have to fight, counterfight to suppress and ultimately extinguish. Far be it from anyone to claim that it's because of Sia, Sia Chakuti, Sia Nothing, Andrea Jimadu. It's because of, uh, uh, Chilufia Teali put it this way, Andrea Jimadu, Sia Nothing at work. Because of Andrew, this man has come all the way from Mazabuga to complain about UPND Kaderism. Where's the correlation? There is no correlation. There isn't any. Chilufya Teali is one of those bottom feeders. Those are, those are jackals, hyenas, those guys. Don't, don't listen to that rubbish. It's absolute rubbish is what it is. All righty. Thought I'd share that with you. Thank you so much. Let me uh, read some of your comments here. I just... I just want to know why Zambians take Andrew seriously. He's just a fraudster and charlatan. Yes, yeah, because Zambians mostly are Dwanzi. That's why they, they like it here, because Zambians are docile. Zambians believe anything. The, the other day, there was a story of Ilomba. You know, the reporter, the reporter was saying, a sea snake. But you can clearly see that's not a sea snake. It's just something wrapped in cloth. The reporter was not reporting what he was seeing. He was reporting what was in his head. And you Zambians, you don't buy, you don't buy. There's no such thing. Just like there's no such thing as a mermaid, there's no such thing as Iromba. Fiabu fi. Eh? Come on, wake up. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. God bless. Have a great day.